Hello everyone, Zane here and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a great day so far. In this video, I'm going to show you guys on what to sell as a brand new player to make some gill in Final Fantasy XIV's A Realm Reborn. This is going to be for crafters only. Don't worry about it, I'll be doing gatherers in another video. This is going to be pertaining to levels 1 to 50. Alright, these are items that I have already sold myself if I was a new player or if I was trying to get some gill on an alt. Alright, so I have used these items myself to make some gill on my Leviathan Alt, I believe. Alright, this is going to pertain to Leatherworker, Weaver, Goldsmith, Blacksmith, Armor, Carpenter, and Alchemist. Unfortunately, Culinarian does not have too many good sellers, so we're going to be skipping over Culinarian. Now, in this game, they give us a nice little feature if you go to an item. Go into the submenu, you have search recipes using this material. This will help you find the recipes that these items are tied to. So if you select it, you can see Elgoat Leather has a crap ton of items tied to it. This is how you value an item's worth, by seeing how many recipes are required for this item. So make sure that you check these to see exactly what they're used for and then check the market bar to see if they're worth anything. These are just my personal items that I would have sold myself. Alright, so starting off with a leather worker, and of course each server is going to be different, alright? They're different players, different level ranges, more or less bots, some with a brain, some without a brain, you know. But make sure you check your server before selling anything. Alright, so with leather worker we're going to go with the Algo leather. These are I would say one of the very first leathers that you're going to be making a lot of money off of as a new player. Alright, so I'll go leather. We have 30 hits on my server. Alright, if you go into the sales history, it shows you exactly how well they've been selling and for how many amounts and for how much. Alright, my personal opinion, 5 to 10 per stack. No more, no less. The reason why is if you give someone too much, they realize that, oh, I overbought, so I'm going to resell them, and then they're going to undercut and make the prices even worse. So only give a reasonable amount. Five to ten stacks per hit. For three hits, let them sell, and then resell more. That's how I do it, and that's how you should do it. Putting too much oversaturates everything, and then it just makes the item less valuable. Right. If you can, high quality over normal quality, but go with what the sales history shows you. Next is going to be boar leather, my personal favorite. Alright, so as you can see here we have 33 hits, which ain't bad. Uh, you can say that you've been selling all day on my server. And as you can see, low amounts. If you see people buying a lot of these items at one time, they're most likely going to be a bot or most likely going to be someone with a lot of time on their hands, which is just fine. But, like I said, stick with low amounts. And last but not least, the Hippo Griff Leather. These are going to be used for endgame for a run reborn, also trying to get your master recipe books, and they're going to be in a Shadowbringers recipes way further down the line. Alright. We have 22 hits on our server, and as you can see here, only a couple of them has been sold around 1, 2, 5, and so on and so forth. But as you can see, they are selling, they are valuable, and I would not skip on these leathers. All right, especially if you're trying to get your books, and so is other people trying to get their Master Recipe books, because the Master Recipe books, number one, are very, very valuable, because they do have some things that you are going to be needing when it comes to doing free company stuff. AKA free company airships and submarines. All right, so that is going to take care of Leatherworker. Now, Weaver, we have Undyed Velveteen, Undyed Woolen, and Undyed Felt. So first off, let's go with the Velveteen. As you can see, there's a lot of items that require Velveteen. 
right? So, 16 hits on my server, which ain't bad. As you can see here, something really bought up all of these high amounts, which is probably fine. Maybe he's a bot, maybe he's just someone who's crafting a lot. I think the Ishgar Restoration uses some of these items as well, so if, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, as you can see, with Ishgar as Restoration, you most likely only need high quality materials anyway, so normal quality over high quality, but go by what your sales history shows on your server. Alright, next is going to be Woolen. I believe this is also used in Ishgar Restoration. These cloths will only be made once per synthesis, unlike the yarn where it comes in about two and threes. Alright, and as you can see here, they are really expensive on my server. Selling pretty nicely. Low amounts, except someone accidentally mis probably misclicked or didn't know what they were doing. Make sure you pay attention to how many zeros you're putting into your amounts, alright? So normal quality, high quality, a little bit of mix, whatever your server is best. And last but not least, felt. These are going to be needed for the level 50 weaver quest in a realm reborn. Alright, 21 hits, not bad. And as you can see here, small amounts have sold high quality over normal quality because you're going to need high quality materials to make the, the items for the quest. So yeah, it's not bad. I'm really proud of my server so far. Next, Goldsmith, my next favorite crafting class. So we have Silver Ingots, Electrum Ingots, Basilisk Whetstones, and Rose Gold Nuggets. So first off, my personal favorite, Silver Ingots. Alright, Silver Ingots are going to be used for Glamour Prisms for Goldsmith. Alright. So we got 10 hits on my server, and as you can see, they've been selling great all day. A lot of high quality, a lot of normal quality, but a lot of small amounts, which just um, confirms my later statement that they do sell great in small stacks. So next is going to be Electrum Ingots. I believe these are used in Ishgar Restoration. Alright, so we have 22 hits on our server, which ain't bad. Again, I'm selling all day, high quality over normal quality it seems, but again, low amounts, sell the best. Here's proof, every single item. Next is the Bastilus Whetstone, which you're going to be using a lot when it comes to making jewelry for Goldsmith. Alright, we got 17 hits on my server. High quality seems to be dominant over normal quality. Again, someone probably misclicked or didn't know what they're doing. And again, small amounts have been selling better than high, high amounts. All right, and last but not least, rose gold nuggets. And this is going to be, again, like the Hippogriff leather, a end game recipe item for when we're born. And of course used in Heaven's Ward and beyond. All right, rose gold ingot nuggets. 28 hits on my server. Pretty good, decent sellers. Past couple of two days. Uh, normal quality seems to be over high quality, but again, small amounts. In this case, I would go with like five. So next is going to be blacksmith and armor, since they both can make the same items. So we have steel ingots, cobalt ingots and dark steel nuggets. Now, steel ingots are going to be used in a lot of recipes, including prisms for glamour. But it's also used in a lot of submarine making and airships. All right, so one thing with steel ingots, you can buy these from a vendor, but that's going to be for the beast tribes. Clearly, this is a good example of what you should not be doing. That person clearly is a bot, most likely. All right, going to the sales history, we can see here, selling all day, small amounts, high quality seems to be dominant over normal quality. 
but if you're trying to make small chunks of gill, steel ingots are your go-to. Just don't do what this person does. Clearly, they have no idea what they're doing. All right, cobalt, which is going to be a big staple in submarine making and airships. But you're going to be dealing with cobalt a lot. All right, 34 hits on my server. As you can see here, again, they've been selling great. No quality over high quality. And again, small amounts seem to be dominant. I hate to be right, but I also love to be right. And of course, dark steel nuggets. We're going to be using a lot of recipes, including past a rumber born. All right, 35 hits on my server. And as you can see here, normal quality over high quality. But again, small amounts reign supreme. Can't argue with that. All right, moving into carpenter, we only have two items on my list here. And that is going to be walnut and spruce. So walnut lumber is used in a lot of recipes, including housing items. All right, so we got 15 hits on my server, but as you can tell from the sales history, they've been selling great the past two days. Small amounts, again, have been dominant between five and 10. Pretty easy to make, so go with no more quality. All right. And now spruce, again, is going to be used for master recipe books, and of course some free company workshop items for submarines and airships. All right, 28 hits, and they are expensive. As you can see here, selling pretty good the past two days. Again, five, 10 low stacks have been selling quite nicely. High quality and normal quality both alike. So I'm pretty happy about that. And last but not least, Alchemist. So we have linseed oil, which is most likely going to be used for varnish. All right, linseed oil. Eight hits on my server. And because that too many because not too many hits on our server, the sales history is going to be a little bit less. All right. But as you can see, they do sell high quality, normal quality alike. Five to ten, I would say still still go with that. But linseed oil is made for varnish, and varnish is basically used in every single expansion, and most likely are going to continue with that trend. Next, horn glue, which is going to be used in recipes for master recipe books. Goes hand in hand with the spruce lumber, as I said earlier. All right, horn glue could also be gotten from the cobalt beast tribe. So 26 hits, which ain't bad. A little bit all over the place for sale history. Um, high quality seems to be dominant over normal quality, but these are very nice and very easy to make. All right, so you definitely can make a, quite a lot of gill from horn glue. And last but not least, varnish. I don't think I really need to explain what varnish is used for, but it's mostly for woods. And you'll be needing a lot of varnish for a lot of carpenter accessories when it comes to Heaven's Ward and beyond. All right, 19 hits on our server, which is pretty nice. Sales history shows normal quality over high quality. And it's still been pretty decently over the past three days, but again, low amounts. All right, guys. So that is going to be all the items that I would recommend selling to make some gill and a rumber born between 1 and 50. These are also items that you guys can fall back on in the future if some of the current stuff doesn't sell as fast or as, as much. All right, guys. So make sure to look out for the gatherer next. And to be quite honest, there's not too many items on that list. So it's going to be a pretty short video. 
Alright guys, so that's pretty much going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you found this useful. Any comments, questions, and or concerns, please put them in the comment section down below. I'd be more than happy to help you guys out with any questions you might have. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new for more Final Fantasy XIV content. And as a reminder, make sure you hit the notification bell next to my subscribe button so you guys miss an upload. And follow me on all my social media, at Zane Linear on Twitter and Facebook. So until next time, guys, remember to walk in the glorious light of Lord Bahamut. Take care, guys, and happy selling.